All right, now we're going to look at the facsimile mode. From the home screen, select facsimile. Using the feeder, uh, place your originals face up, preferably long feed, so as not to cause any receiving problems at the other end. If you want to use the exposure glass, the same way, long feed, face down, lined up with the rear left corner. To send a fax, you can either dial the number manually or select a pre-programmed destination. If you want to send to several destinations at the same time, simply click Add after each number dialed. And finally, the Start button. If you go to the original Feed Type tab, you will see a feature called Two-Sided Original where you can fax a two-sided original and the receiving destination will receive two separate pages. To cancel a transmission, you will press on the red stop key, press standby file list, either under files under transmission or file list, select the number as quickly as possible, press stop transmission and confirm with OK, then click exit. The unit will print out a transmission report automatically. If it is misplaced, however, you can check visually if your fax went through by selecting the transmission file status tab where you see a visual journal. If you want to print the report for a specific transmission, take note of the file number, press exit, go into transmission reception status print tab right at the top, click on print journal, print per file number, enter your file number, and press the Start key, and you will get your manually printed report. Now, to program a fax number into the address book, simply dial your number. On the main screen, select Program Destination. You will see your number here. If you need to change because you made a mistake, click on Change and do your modification. If not, click on the Names tab. Click on Change at the top, enter the destination name, click OK and OK again, and your destination is now on the main screen. You have a choice of programming under frequent or alphabetical.